Hey guys, Vizerlo here. So, I don't know how many of you know about the lawsuit between Samsung and Apple based on the Samsung Galaxy phones and the iPhones. And just like today, I just found out about it. So, this is still something new to me too. However, if you were like me and you had no idea what was going on, basically Samsung was in a legal battle with Apple over iPhone and Samsung Galaxy patents. And Apple wanted $1 billion for Samsung infringing on those patents. Apparently this battle has been going on for years and now, supposedly, Samsung lost the battle and Apple won. However, they didn't get a cool like $1 billion. Instead, they got a pretty, pretty big $539 million, which that's still a lot of money, but that's nowhere near $1 billion. Now there's not a whole lot that we know about this, this literally just came out today, and it's from a CNET article that mixed together many different iPhone like news into one giant article, so it's a bit disorganized, however I'll link the article I got this information from in the description. So what do I think of this? Well, I don't think this is going to have a big effect on Samsung or Apple. I think that it's just going to be Apple and Samsung. You know, now one of them is going to have more money than the other. Well, when I say that, I mean one of them is going to have an extra $539 million, and one of them is going to lose that much. So, it's not exactly great for Samsung. However, I don't think this is going to affect the Samsung Galaxy phones. I don't think that Samsung's going to really start changing up their phones just, to, just because of this lawsuit. But I don't know if I should say that Apple deserved to win this battle because I feel like Apple was more or less maybe exaggerating on some parts. I don't know much about this, but I feel like that with some of the patents, I feel like that Apple was going quite overboard in some areas. However, I do think that if Samsung really, really did infringe on these, then they should be punished. However, I think that Samsung Galaxy phones and iPhones are different enough to the point that it's not really a huge deal. And honestly, I don't think that Samsung is going to really try their hardest to violate those patents again, of course because of this, but also because Samsung is currently, and has been for a while, the number one phone brand. Just a few months ago it was Apple when it went from Samsung to Apple, but now it's back to Samsung, so I don't feel like Samsung really needs to copy Apple anymore, I'm using that in quotations. I know that they probably weren't copying them, they're probably just taking ideas from some of the patents. But still, I do feel like that this isn't going to have a huge effect on other companies. However, what do you think of this? Please let me know in the comments. If you want to check out more videos from me, then you can check out my social medias in the description. And you can subscribe, of course, if you want. And I hope you enjoy this video, and see you.